Ah, it's finally over. Sus month has reached its last day and I'm finally free. But not just yet, because I had to make the traditional compilation of every video I made this month. And you thought last year was insane. But anyways, if you enjoyed the sus, want better sus next year, or you just enjoy the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. But now I'm going to go let you bask in the sus. Did Master Chief ever take a... Sus month. Ah, what the... What is going on? What is... what is this? Oh god, no. No! No, 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 this can't be right, no! Not already! Sus huh? No! I can't do this again! Sus month! I can't do this again! Please Sus don't make me! Sus don't make month. me! No! No, 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 please! Please! Sus Sus no! What happened to Spartan's booty cheeks? Now, if you've played Halo, you'll know about Spartans. And you may have realized if you played the earlier titles up to the later ones, that the Spartan ladies lost their bus and yachts. Which begs the question, what happened to their junk in the Mjolnir trunk? Well, a simple explanation would be the severe differences in the Spartans. You see, Spartan 2s and 3s were developed differently from Spartan 4s. One of those things would include the procedure of serum injection, which acts like a super steroid. And consider Considering the gyat is a muscle, this would be the cause for the deflation in later Spartans' cheeks. But the real question is, is this a good thing? Considering you can no longer get distracted by level 5 gyat, did Master Chief finger a jackal? Now, if you played Halo, you'll know about Master Chief, but what you might not have known was that Master Chief absolutely violated a poor dino bird. You see, in the short story Palace Hotel from Halo Evolutions, there's a scene where Master Chief outstretches his pointer and middle finger, creating a spike. Then he lunges at a jackal with enough force to pass through his face. But the real question is, if you saw the guy from Fortnite running at you with his fingers out, would you run, or would you bend over? Are the Sangheili a bunch of cucks? Now, if you've played Halo, you'll know about elites. But what you might not have known was that these big lizard men like watching their significant other getting absolutely raw-dogged. You see, in elite culture, a high-ranking elite like the Arbiter can walk into another elite's house and smash his wife. Then, when she gives birth, it is the husband's duty to care for the Arbiter's offspring, which makes these split lips the kings of cuckoldry. But the real question is, would you let the Arbiter smash your wife after seeing his humongous lizard paint? Could you bust a nut with Spartan's AI? Now, if you played Halo, you'll know about artificial intelligence, and you'll know that every single Spartan has one, whether simple or complex. But it begs the question, can my cute little orange trapezoid make me paint my britches in the front? Well, when we look at this scene in the Halo TV show, we see John knocked out and Cortana taking full control of his body, which means if you want to get free, all you gotta say is Cortana, make me bust a n- Do Helldivers jerk each other off? Now, if you played Helldivers, you'll know about uh, Helldivers. And you may have asked yourself, can't it get lonely fighting for democracy for so long? Well, speaking from experience, yes. Could you take a dump in a grunt's breathing tank? Now, if you played Halo, you'll know about grunts, and you may have known that they don't breathe regular oxygen, but in fact breathe methane gas. And what is something that we have today that produces a large amount of this gas? Big piles of feces. So hypothetically, you could squat over a grunt's breathing tank and release your bowels, and he would turn around and thank you for the fresh air. Is Nora breedable? Now, if you played Fallout 4, you'll know about Nora, and you'll know that Nate watches her die while they're in cryo. But is she still breedable? Well, speaking on pleasure, her passing makes it impossible for her body to warm up, keeping her frozen and crystallized. But is reproduction still possible? Well, considering the advancements of the Institute, it could be possible to isolate her reproductive cells that have been preserved in cryo, and adding your special white milk could create a Sean 2.0 which conclude that Nora is indeed breedable. But the real question is, would you still breed with Nora at the risk of getting murdered by John Fallout? Did Master Chief finger a jackal? Can AI make you bust? Are elites cucks? I have answered questions like this since the beginning of this month, but why? Well, if you're new to this community or you weren't here exactly one year ago from today, let me tell you about Sus Month. Last year, Halo came out with a gay pride emblem and nameplate on this month, and I thought to myself, 
what does sexual orientation have to do with the first person shooter? And for that same amount of logic, I created Sus Month and forged a stain on the Halo community forever. You what? So for one solid month of every year, I post sus stuff every day, and it is your constitutional right on this month to find out your sus questions that no creator will ever answer. And I couldn't stop you guys last year, so I might as well set you loose. Ask your favorite creator your sussy questions. On this glorious month, it must be answered. Go now, before it's too late, go! Join the Discord. Are the automatons breedable? Now, if you played Helldivers, you'll know about the automatons. And you may have looked at them and wondered, I wonder if I could breed one of those filthy clankers. This guy who made this comment sure did. Well, in terms of reproduction, creating new automatons is pretty simple, considering manufacturing is their source of reproduction. But what about pleasure? Well, that would be more difficult, considering that cold, hard metal is not very pleasurable to the human touch. But there is a possible way to fix this. If you were to gain access to a bot manufacturing facility and program the controls to graft male and female parts to the groin area, this would make breeding more pleasurable. But the real question is, would you still breed with an automaton if that means that you're not a democracy-loving PATRIOT?! Oh sweet liberty, I'm gonna bust! You are a pedophile. Now, if you played Halo, you'll know about Cortana, and you've probably looked at her and thought, wow. She's really hot. Well, right here in this moment, she's exactly eight years old. And what about the weapon? Do you think she's attractive? Well, guess what? She's one year old. Um, what the Sigma? Um, what the Sigma? Do Spartans guzzle their own piss? Now, if you played Halo, you'll know about Spartans. But what you might not have known is that they will piss and shark themselves and then eat and drink whatever comes out. You see, their suits are incredibly advanced and can turn their bodily excrement into edible materials. But the real question is, what does the suit feed them when they butt? Are bugs breedable? Now, if you played Helldivers, you'll know about the Terminates. And you probably looked at them and thought, you know what, I'd smash. Well, if you're trying to reproduce, you'll have no luck unless you breed with another human. But what about pleasure? Well, considering that the bugs are very gushy and moist inside, one can assume that it would be quite pleasurable. However, you must be careful because certain Terminates are filled with acid. But the real question is, would you risk getting acid burns on your willy for that level 5 bug yacht? Oh sweet liberty, I'm gonna bu- ah! Are hunters breedable? Now, if you played Halo, you'll know about hunters, and you probably saw them and thought, I'd love to shove that giant cannon up my- Now, it's not possible to reproduce with a hunter, but is it pleasurable to breed? Well, considering hunters are a bunch of worms, it's possible for them to separate and crawl up your urethra or your sphincter, which, if you're into that, concludes that they are indeed breedable. Problem is, when hunters get big enough, they split off, making two brothers who mate with each other. So the real question is, are you willing to smash at the risk of getting bulldozed by his jealous brother who wants to have gay inbred sex? Does Master Chief have a huge Johnson? Now, if you played Halo, you'll know about Master Chief, and you probably looked at him and thought, man, how big is this guy's co- Well, one of the procedures during the augmentations is injecting a serum which acts like a super steroid. And though it might have shrunk his balls, the male phallus has muscles, which means he would have a huge pecker. Don't believe me? Well, let's hear it from our most reliable lore expert himself, Shep. If we pause right about here, you'll see that the Master Chief is packing that shmeat. Packing that shmeat. Packing that shmeat. Would your balls explode from an overcharged plasma pistol? Now, if you played Halo, you'll know about the plasma pistol, and you probably asked yourself, can this thing cause testicular combustion? Well, plasma is incredibly hot and burns through most anything, and this scene in the Halo TV show shows the true potential of the plasma pistol. And even though this show sucks and should never have existed, I think it's safe to say that your balls would go kablammy. But the real question is, if the plasma pistol violently vibrates when overcharged, would it feel good if you shoved it up your- Do grunts suck nipples? Now, if you play Halo, you'll know about grunts, and you might have heard them say something about nipples. <laughs> Good thing that food nipples waiting for me at the starship! So, what is this nipple that they speak of? Well, on the Covenant ships, the only enjoyable thing for the Ungoy is their time to eat, and the food they eat is this nasty paste that goes down a tube and is sucked from a nipple. So their nipple sucking is for nutrients. But the real question is, if you were down bad for Yap Yap, would you let him suck on your nipples? Are super mutants breedable? 
Now, if you played Fallout, you'll know about super mutants, and you probably saw their big muscles and thought, I wonder what else is big? Well, unfortunately, when a human is injected with FEV, the transformation from human to super mutant causes a loss of use of the reproductive organs. And the super mutants are completely indistinguishable from males to females. But if Virgil, who created a serum to revert back to a human, mastered this antidote, it could be possible to turn mutants back into people, making them once again breedable. But the real question is, considering that Virgil said that he retained muscle mass after his transformation, does that mean that he's still got a huge co- Are engineers breedable? Now, if you played Halo, you'll know about engineers. And if you are what you eat, this thing would definitely eat ball sacks. But in terms of pleasure, considering engineers have a bunch of sticky, slimy tentacles, breeding with a Huragok would be quite pleasurable. Although, because they levitate using methane gas, it would always smell like they sharded themselves. But what about reproduction? Well, interestingly enough, you could technically reproduce an engineer. You see, engineers are not born, but instead are built by other engineers using materials nearby. So if you peeled your skin off, they could use that as material to build your son that looks like a ball sack. Could you use an energy shield as a condom? Now, if you played Halo, you'll know about the energy shield, and you'll know that it serves as a layer of protection from flying projectiles. But could it be used to deflect another type of projectile? Well, one would think that because your special sauce would eject quite fast, the overshield would stop it. But even if shielding your willy is possible, it can only deflect projectiles coming at you, not from you. And considering an energy shield would not shield something like the inside of your mouth, we could assume that it would not work shielding other openings. But the real question is, would you still risk getting pregnant by the guy from Fortnite? Did they 69 in Vault 69? Now, if you played Fallout, you'll know about vaults. But there are some really sus vaults you may not have known about. Vault 68 had 999 men and one woman, where men battled to the death just to smash. And Vault 69 had 999 women and one man, where they all probably took turns breeding to repopulate and eventually requiring inbreeding to survive. But the real question is, if you were the one man's child from Vault 69, would you tag team the ladies with your dad? Why are Halo weapon names so sus? Needler? <laughs> I hardly know her. Stalker rifle. Okay, so we're, so we're stalking people now. The skewer. Wait, wait, I'm gonna do what to her? The spanker. Okay, I mean, come on now. The ravenger. How is the worst gun in the game the most romantic one? Here's some hot takes that I still stand on from my Smasher Pass Halo Edition. I'd pass Master Chief from Combat Evolved in Anniversary. Every other Master Chief was a hard smash, but Combat Evolved Chief had those weird hand movements and overexpressions. And Anniversary didn't even remaster the cutscenes, they just painted over the old ones. And yes, I know that this was the first Halo. They didn't have Chief's personality full set in stone, the graphics weren't great, but my choice still stands. Halo 2 and 3 Miranda Keys was a smash, but Anniversary was a hard pass. What has 343 done to you? Miranda. Halo 4 Master Chief had my favorite armor set, so Smash, and Halo 4 Cortana... I mean, come on now. But they ruined Cortana with this remaster. And what is this? Can active camo conceal your nut? Now, if you played Halo, you'll know about active camo. And you probably asked yourself, if I whipped out my willy and started pissing, how much would it hide? Well, considering that picking up another weapon while in active camo camouflages that weapon, it would be safe to assume that active camo applies to things you touch. So essentially, the second you start pissing, it will conceal the entire stream and puddle until you disconnect the stream and finish. But at the very same time, walking on the floor and touching other objects does not cause them to be camouflaged, so perhaps it's far more complicated than we can imagine. But the real question is, if it truly does turn your bodily fluids invisible, where do you intend on quietly busting a nut? It is Men's Mental Health Month, and though it is sus month, men's mental health is very important. So just for today, I'm going to give you guys some wholesome Halo lore. But just like men's mental health, this will be overlooked and you will get the bare minimum, which is why this video will be the only one of its kind. Time to thug it out, boys! There was actually an elite in Halo 5 that was in love with Sarah Palmer and actually wrote her a love poem. You can find this in a data pad on the Arbiter's Camp, and it says, I love your bright and shiny armor human named commander palmer and this is also canon because it was actually brought back up in halo infinite at a propaganda tower where a grunt brings up if they're still dating or not speaking about grunts grunts love to do drugs and watch human soap operas for fun and in fact grunts actually loved human culture and they wanted to know everything about it anyways all jokes aside i hope you boys are doing good are hell divers breedable 
Now, we all know about hell divers, and we know without question that our fellow hell divers are patriotically breedable, both reproductively and pleasurably. But are we allowed to breed? Well, in order to get permitted to breed, you must first submit a CO1 form, and if approved, you would be sanctioned to breed. But because of a previously failed major order, resulting in the loss of a considerable amount of element 710, any further procreation applications will be denied. Oh, sweet liberty, I just want to bust a nut! Uh, here we go. I seriously don't know where to guess. Right there, man. It's right there. <laughs> Rudy Gunner, come on, man. Come on, man. I already did it. I'm just adding stuff at this point. Yeah, Thor got it. Come on, it's right there. Yeah, why is it like that? <laughs> come on. You know what? Oh my god. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Monster, Monster oh cheeks? <laughs> You're joking. Oh my okay, here we go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is the flood breedable? Now, if you played Halo, you'll know about the Flood. And you probably thought to yourself, could this Flood Spore give me sloppy toppy? Well, in terms of reproduction, all that is required is your entire body to create another Flood Spawn at the expense of your life. But what about pleasure? Well, considering the agonizing eternal torment associated with being enveloped by the Flood, it is safe to say that it would not be pleasurable. However, when you are enveloped by the Flood, the Grave Mind gets all your knowledge and memories, which means that the Grave Mind knows your most erotic fantasies and also knows how to sex actually please the entire human race. But the real question is, would you be able to get the grave mind to use this information by displaying your max level aura? How hard are grunts? Like, really hard. They're like, practically made of rocks. <sighs> oh, that's it. That was the last video. That's it. Sus month is over. Sus month is over. I'm finally free. I'm free. Join the discord. Easter egg in the end of the video. I bet you never saw that coming. Okay, I'm out of here. <laughs>